And on this video, it is about prices and comic books. You talk about why is Marvel Comics failing and why is the industry as a whole failing to attract new readers and why isn't it growing? You know, a lot of stores are closing, the number of sales per issue is going down. And the real reason is, I think there's a couple, but primarily is cover price per issue. Straight up. That's one of the reasons why I don't buy current comic books anymore. Besides the SJW stuff, it is current prices of comic book issues. It's went from either $2.99 to even $3.99 an issue. It's about 22 pages which is about the same format that we've had for over 20 years and longer. Comic books were perfectly priced at a dollar at one time. Remember that? When it was a dollar, when it was 75 cents even, or 50 cents. Hard to imagine, right? Nowadays, 50 cents an issue. But 75 cents or a dollar, then I went to a dollar 25. A dollar fifty, which I remember feeling was kind of much. A dollar ninety nine was like pushing the line. And I think it was either then to two twenty five or whatever that I got out of the game. The prices drove me out. I see in the stores people paying with their credit card for their weekly comic books. That to me, growing up, was unheard of. Just the thought of using your credit card to pay for your weekly comic books, that's just unheard of. But now, that's the way it is. That is the way it is, right? I'm sure you've seen it in the store. And it's like, you can't say the quality is better. You could say the paper quality is better, that's one thing, right? And it's funny, the best characters, the best stories, the best art was all originally published on what we would consider crappy newsprint paper. And now you have the slickest paper, the slickest colors, but the stories are crap. So that's something to think about. But sure, the paper quality is better, and give it that, and colors maybe, but, you know... Doesn't mean comic books today are better. Quality varies. You can't judge it. You know, what, what one person likes, another person doesn't like. And, you know, it's just the prices, I feel, today are just too much. With the economic troubles and the job situation. And people could spend their money... Why are you going to spend your money on a 10 to 15 minute read? If even that, because the way the comics are written now, it, there's not a lot of text. Remember back in the day, Stan Lee would squeeze a ton of text into a story. Nowadays, you'll go five pages, five pages, and maybe you'll get 50 words sometimes. And the, and the pages will have like four panels only a page and a splash page. And they have entertainment in video games, entertainment in music, entertainment in movies or dig other digital things that you don't need comic books. Remember, no one needs comic books. That's just a... A disposable hobby. It's not like food and water, which you do need. And I think that the industry definitely is failing. And unless prices go down, unless that happens, unless the prices go down, you'll never see a boom again in comics. It might never happen. It really might never happen. Things might improve. Things might indeed get better. But I'm talking like a high point boom. Where things go really fantastic. For a while. That might not happen again. Prices are driving readers away. 
new readers who want to join the game might not join and become regulars because, hey, $3 an issue or more, that is off-putting. That is very off-putting, $3 an issue or more. And most comic readers, you just don't buy a book. You always buy a handful, 5 to 10 issues. That's the way it is, you know. You just don't settle for one a week. So if you're a regular reader, 5 issues, 10 issues, 3 bucks an issue, that's already a $15 to $30 commitment a week. All this stuff is driving re the reader away. And the biggest BS of the market is charging for digital comics, which are not the same. There's nothing like holding a real book in your hands. Digital comics, they charge like a buck an issue, which is the biggest BS. Because it costs them virtually nothing. Believe me, if you know anything about computers, it costs them virtually nothing to send you that book. They could profit from a 25 cent charging. And that's all it's worth. A digital comic should only be 25 cents. Even 50 cents is too much. Because there is no big commitment for them to send you a digital file. Comics should be a quarter digitally. That's the real truth. But they, they got greedy. They charge a dollar or more. That's not worth it. The comic future is not looking good. It really isn't. And I think prices are the primary reason why.